In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, our angelic beloved in Christ and Father, Amen, Alleluia, and I like to share with you a touch of God's love, that's a short reflection and prayer. On the Lord Mass readings of Thursday, 5th October 2023, the readings are taken from Nehemiah 8, 1-12, to Psalm 18, 8-11, and Luke 10, 1-12. to The theme of the reflection is how to bring renewal, how to bring renewal. The first reading shows that when Nehemiah finished building the wall of Jerusalem, he assembled all the Israelites for them to begin a new way of life so that the wall will no longer be destroyed. <laughs> so it is not enough to build physical structures without building our spiritual lives. We need spiritual renewal too. They then asked Israel, Ezra, a scribe and a priest, to read the book of the law of Moses. He read from the book from morning to noon while all the people listened attentively. He stood on a wooden structure erected for that purpose and beside him stood other leaders. It means the people were a very big crowd. He then opened the book and all the people stood up. Then he blessed the Lord, the great God, and all the people raised their hands and answered, Amen, Amen. Then they bowed down and face to the ground, prostrated themselves before the Lord in worship. Then the Levites, together with Ezra, explained the meaning of the law to the people while they remained standing. Then Nehemiah and Ezra and the Levites said to the people, this day is sacred to the Lord your God. Do not be mournful, do not weep. For the people were all in tears as they listened to the words of the Lord. Nehemiah said to them, Go, eat the fat, drink the sweet wine, and send a portion to the people who have nothing prepared ready. For this day is sacred to our Lord. Do not be sad. The joy of the Lord is your strength. All the people went to do as they were told. This teaches us that to bring about renewal into our families or communities or into our world, we can plan renewal activities from time to time. The activity should include reading and meditating on the Word of God, using what we have read to pray for repentance and forgiveness and reconciliation, and to praise, adore, and thank God for the enlightenment and the motivation and the empowerment we have received. Finally, we should celebrate not only spiritually but also materially by enjoying some meals and sharing with the less fortunate. This could be done at a family or community level and as often as possible. The Gospel shows that to bring about renewal, the Lord may call some of us to become missionaries. It says that Jesus appointed 72 disciples and sent them in pairs to proclaim the Gospel in places he was to visit. He said, the harvest is rich, but the laborers are few. So ask the Lord of the harvest to send laborers into the harvest. It means that those who need to hear the word are very many but the preachers are few. Then he says, I am sending you out like lambs among wolves, carry no pants, no haversack, no sandals, salute no one on the road. Whatever house you enter, say, peace be to this house. If people of peace are there, your peace will rest on them. If not, it will come back to you. Stay in the same house, eating and drinking what is offered, for the laborer deserves his wages. Cure the sick and say, the kingdom of God, the kingdom of God is very near to you. While you are not welcome, shake off the dust of your feet as a testimony against them. This shows that it shows the necessity, the necessity to pray for more laborers too. That we have to treat people who are violent in a gentle manner. We should be lambs among wolves. Three, that missionaries should rely on divine providence to enable them focus on the gospel. They should not engage, they should not allow business projects to uh, prevent them from ministering. Four, missionaries should be peacemakers. Five, missionaries should be healers. And six, they should not impose themselves on people. Dearly beloved, in the name of Jesus, 
but renewed by the power of the word of God. In the name of Jesus, be an instrument of renewal in your family, your community, or on a mission land. Amen. Can you share God's love by subscribing to this YouTube channel and share and discuss this message with others? The subscription is free. The icon for subscription is at the bottom corner of the right side of the video. And may Almighty God bless and protect you always, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.